so one of the things we're doing is, you know, I, I work a lot with people who live on permafrost and who are observing these changes firsthand. Um, and so this this map here, this is showing the storm that happened this past year, a typhoon Murbach that hit the um, uh, western part of Alaska. Um, and it really brought to our attention just uh, limited knowledge that we have on the ground in terms of like sensing and then also challenges of getting maps of the Arctic because it's always cloudy and it's dark half the year. And so one thing that we're doing is we're using this um, an app where people are doing surveys on the ground to document the changes that are happening. Because in some cases, this is the only information that we have. Um, so this is a survey one, two, three app. The other thing that we're doing, and you can go to the next one, is bringing satellite imagery to folks who are living on the ground to detect rates of change. So we're partnering with 10 um, Alaska Native communities um, who have a very good sense, um, much better sense than I do as a Western scientist of the changes that are happening. Um, but one of the things the community has expressed is they really need um, some of these mapping tools and environmental monitoring to assess rates of change. This is really important for decision making about adaptation. And you can see from this picture, this is one of the things that happens when permafrost thaws. You see these circled areas. These are lakes that drained. And these are two images over a 10-year period, but those actually drained like within a year, like in one. So they think of this permafrost as like a crack in a swimming pool, and it drains out. And so this is other thing is just making imagery of available for people who are experiencing these changes. Yeah, and as I said, like this imagery is really important for making decisions. Some of the communities that we're working with um, are having to make decisions, say perhaps having to move homes away from a river that's eroding. And then in some cases, there's are really difficult decisions that communities are having to make to relocate their entire community. That is not a decision that anybody would want to make and anybody makes lightly. So having all of the tools available, the technical tools, the indigenous knowledge um, to help in that decision making is, is really a critical part of uh, the work that we do.